Hi right, folks, we're here today doing a epic Warhammer Epic Space Marine uh, Chaos game today. And what we have is the forces of chaos versus forces of chaos. So we're fighting over this corn world where Zinch has invaded our friendly home space. As you can tell, it's our area because we have skulls. You don't have big giant mountains of skulls unless it's corn. So we got the forces of corn versus the forces of Zinch. And what the uh, interesting thing is, Zinch had its greater demons pop in, and when they popped into our little world, they created these vortices, which are going to, well, try to suck my uh, units into the away, so they can take this world away from us and the world of chaos. So that's what we're going to be doing. And we already rolled off to see who sets up first, and I got that. I had to set up first, so. And we're going to, you want me to go first then? Yeah. Okay. I got a five. I guess I go first. All right, so the objectives are we have the skull over here. We got some chaos force. More chaos force. The other skull is another objective. We got objectives over here and this lonely hilltop over here. So, if I get the uh, start winning the battle with most points, I get some modifiers to save the day for me. So, we hopefully will continue to this battle in our favor. Hmm? Yes, compulsories have to move first. And I hope you suck your guys into the war. <laughs> no, that won't suck them in. Just go up the table. Yeah. 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 Should we do it? Okay, that's a hit. You get to determine your direction. Yeah. Six. Ooh, seven. Seven whole Centimeters. And wherever you want to go. Where the fun is. From the uh, template. Wrong guy. I know. Looking for seven. No, not very far at all. Alright. Next one. Uh, Six, nine, ten, eleven. See, my, my hope is, is that they... Uh, Decide to go over and top your own guys and suck them into the war. Get them away. That's what we're doing here. Watching this really quick. And they can't land there though. And move it to the edge. There we go. Next. Ooh, hit. That's a big one. That's 19. You go any direction you want. Yeah, run it right over the other voice. Well, it doesn't do him any harm, as yeah. far as I know. It just moves him to the edge. Yeah. Then they got to make a save and throw it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. one more. Well, that one went backwards, not very far. Uh, four, seven, eight. I might hit one of the Uh oh. Oh, bummer. <laughs> Not far. All right. We'll be back at a recap of uh, the end of turn one. Oh. Uh, 9, 10, 13. Uh, it's going to. Okay. I was hoping for off the board, but. That's an awful big roll. Yeah. But it still could go off the board. All right. We'll do come back with a recap. All right, folks, we're back with uh, recap turn one. We had some flesh hands advanced over here and took that objective. We marched over here, took this objective, and we marched up and took that objective. We advanced over here, and we're out of range. These guys, juggernauts charged. Uh, this guy over here, these guys all charged. The Lord of Battle here, he opened up with his guns and uh, forced the 
greater demon of Zinch over there to burn some cards to protect himself from getting hurt. And in the process, we also took out with our cannons of corn back here. Took out one vortex with a well-placed blast. The other one saved, which sucked. Then over here, we advanced, the charged, charged, we're advancing on the battlefield. So pretty much everything advanced with some minor shooting going on, and that was pretty much it for that round. His, as you can see, his vortices are all in a nice little scatter pattern. I'm hoping that they keep going backwards. That's my plan. So you got anything to say about this one? Nope, we made it through one turn, I didn't think you would. Well, after one turn, I yeah, I knew you would be uh, still around. You'd think I'd shoot you off the table, but I got short range. So that's one turn down. So we're going to move into turn two. We're grabbing a die here so we can do a roll off. Hello. Ready? No, your option also is running the shield with a weapon. And I got a six. I go first. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how Zinch is uh, manipulating the dice. <laughs> All right. So here we're going to be back at a recap of turn two. And hopefully there will be some blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. Much blood. More like <laughs> we want our skull back. All right. We'll be back with two. And, uh, All right, folks, we're back for a recap of turn two, and it was sort of a pillow fight. Other than uh, we advanced and took some more objectives, did the uh, string out effect. We got those objectives. We're contesting this skull over here. Now, we did have a greater demon of Zinch shoot his beam of corruption at us and hit one of my juggernauts and we reflected it back and he failed with a one but he burned a uh, reward card to prevent himself from dying turning himself into a chaos spawn and then we killed uh, one dith, one vortex here and we killed another vortex there and that's pretty much it and this is contested. We took this objective over here, sweeping around the flanks. Cannons are back here unloading, and we're just advancing. So after two, we've killed off three vortexes, correct? And nothing is, you haven't had one go off the table yet, even though the last turn they kind of decided to wander backwards a bit. That's the only problem with random movement. They just kind of go where they want to go. And we're just going up and taking stuff. We want our skulls back. And if we can put some nice bird skulls up there too. Much. All right. So we'll be back with a recap at three. Any questions other than this roll for initiative? I got a five. I got five. Five. We roll. And I got a one. You got it. Your choice. Uh, yeah. Let's see. I'm yeah. going to go You're going to go uh, first? All right. Well, yeah, I have to. No. Yeah. Uh, All right. We'll be back with three. This is into three. Recap of three. Well, things got into the uh, nitty-gritty here real quick. Uh, the corn decided that it's time to eviscerate and bring more blood to the blood god. So right there we got a locked combat. He kept saving himself. Uh, over here there used to be a bunch of uh, vortex, vortices, and a lord of change. He's gone. He got wiped out by a lowly bolt pistol from a beastman. And then here we tied in combat. We were locked, couldn't kill each other. And then over here, we had a massive melee. Uh, we had to fight a um, Lord of Change and a uh, Chaos Spawn. Chaos Spawn did more damage to me than the uh, Lord of Change. So that was kind of interesting. 
But otherwise, we basically control all of the objectives except for that one and the one over there, which I gave up because I decided to go try to munch on some uh, Lord of Change. So other than that, you want to go for top of uh, turn four, yep. dice off. I got a five. Six. He's six, so you got your choice. I'll go first. All right, so we'll be back at the end of four. All right, folks, we're back at the end of turn four, and it's pretty much all we got left is a spawn sitting there. We took out in melee the Lord of Change. The dog chomped him down. We shot down another disc, Vortex right there. He still has one parked back there behind the trees. I can't see it. And then over here, we still got a mass of pillow fight. They can't kill each other. Well, you kill me this turn. Next turn, you would have killed me. Yeah. I have nothing left to do. Yeah. Same. I would have got you, eventually. And we had a vortex right there, and we shot it up. So it's pretty much, I'd say it's in the hands of uh, corn. Yep. Anything about your uh, vortex? Uh, I was surprised that they stayed on the table. Yeah. We only had one out of the entire group that two, two went off the table. Otherwise, they all just kept going yo-yoing back and forth. Just going here, they go there. And we had one time where they went over top of somebody, and that was your Lord of Change. And he saved. So it wasn't really worth the points. Interesting, but what are we going to do next time? I have no idea. All right. Next time is not Thanksgiving. No, we got two weeks from tomorrow, or yesterday is Thanksgiving. For us Americans, yeah, it was interesting. I was uh, more worried than I guess I should have been, but could. I knew you shouldn't be worried. Yeah, it went uh, one direction or the other. It just total randomness of each. That's what it was. Yeah, scary. I was expecting one of those things to go over top, like my Lord of Battle, and have him sucked into the warp or something. This poor little guy right here, but he did a little bit of work and then everything got shot out so he couldn't do anything. He just marched, last couple of turns, just marched across the table. And then as you can see right here, we got one vortex that kind of decided to get into the melee. Uh, other than that, everything was uh, pretty decent, not bad. It was more uh, interesting than I thought it Yeah, that's chaos for you. All right. We'll be back next time.